What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Grasp of Malak. Now ever since hearing about this weapon I have had to try and obtain it and here's why. In year one of Destiny I had a weapon for that PvP which for me was unstoppable. The weapon was the 123 Scissor G. It's a pulse rifle I still have and use until this day and you can see it on screen now. Now prior to the Taken King's major patch where many weapons were nerfed and buffed my Scissor G had max stability but since the patch has lost a little but still where level don't count, it is still my favourite PvP weapon. Its fire rate and damage per second is absolutely insane and that paired with its stability makes this thing a PvP beast. Now since the Taken King has dropped, I've been searching for a year to replacement for when level matters in that PvP and I think I may have found it with the Grasp of Malak. Now this Grasp of Malak is a weapon only obtained from killing Omnigal in the Will of Crotus strike on Earth. So if you think this weapon looks interesting you better get grinding. It took me just over 3 hours of constant grinding to get this weapon but the two dudes who grinded with me had it dropped 3 times between them so it isn't that rare. Now looking at the weapon's design we can clearly see it does look epic but it is just a reskinned oversoul edict but that's fine as I love that weapon too. Again another high rate of fire low impact weapon which in the right hands could wreck. Now obviously when this thing does drop at Omnigo its roll of mods are random so even if it does drop for you you may be stuck with some crappy mods and no stability which in my opinion is needed on this thing more than anything else. So let's go through what mine dropped with. The three sites mine have are Red Dot ORS1 which you can see on screen now. Focus Lens FLA5 seen on screen now. And True Sight IS seen on screen now. My first main mod is Headseeker. Body shots with this weapon increase precision damage for a short time. I then got hand loaded injection mode and sword of Aegis. Injection mode increases stability and handling but reduces range and this is the mod I go with. The final mod I got was glass half full. The bottom half of each magazine causes additional damage. So although not the best I am quite happy with what I've got. Braced frame would have been what I would have wished for as it does almost max stability. Now I have used this thing a lot in PvP and I'm in love with it and it's definitely going to be my weapon of choice when level does matter. So let's take a look at its PvP stats but let's start with its fire rate. So this weapon fires 9 bullets per second so it fires in at 540 rounds per minute. It will empty its entire magazine of 33 bullets in 3.31 seconds and its reload and ready time as standard is 2.19 seconds. Let's move on to its damage. Now this thing does 16 to the body and 24 to the head. So damage per second is 144 to the body and 216 to the head. So straight away we can see that its DPS is more than that of the Nerwin's Mercy, the Bad Juju and the Red Death. That paired with a good stability perk, this in my opinion would be the best pulse rifle for that PvP. Because it shoots so quick, if that first bullet of the burst hits the head, the following two bullets 99% of the time will do too. Maximum clip damage this thing dishes out is 792, easily making this thing capable of killing three guardians with a single clip. That with its standard high aim assist and at an amazing equip speed, this thing is pretty damn beastly. Obviously though, it loses a lot of its punch over long range, but if you can control it, it really does compete with the best. This is officially my favourite year 2 PvP weapon. Mine drops at an attack value of 294, but I quickly got this bad boy up to 310, ready for that trials. But guys, this is the grasp of Malak and how it's obtained. If you have had this weapon drop, let me know what mods yours came with. They undeniably make this weapon what it is, and without stability, this weapon is considered garbage by many people. 
But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these bids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Just need gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads, gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.